Hello Aries, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly weekend reading for the weekend of September 8, 2017. The cards I'm using today are Oceanic Tarot Cards by Jane Wallace. Alright, so somebody's getting their heart broke this week. Um, I want to thank everybody for, is that the same card? Okay, so some situations, somebody's going to start seeing things for what they are. They gonna get their heart broke this week, okay? All right. So, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs if you want a personal reading. Yes, yeah, secrets coming out, and people gonna start seeing things for what they are. Like, oh, that's why. That's going on. All right, let's get this show on the road because you want to speak, and we are gonna let you. What's going on with the Aries? Wow, damn. So. Seems like somebody gonna try to recover a relationship, but um, one of the parties I'm feeling like you might be trying to be the Aries is trying to recover, and the other party does not love the Aries anymore. Okay. All right, what's going on for the love of life of the Aries? Aries, Aries for the weekend of September eighth, September eighth, two thousand and seventeen. September eighth, what's going on? September 8th, 2017. Aries, Aries, Aries. Alright, so yeah, somebody's trying to come back from abandonment. Somebody's trying to reclaim something that they left behind. Mm. Okay, so somebody feels like this is a wise decision. So you might be trying to come pick somebody up. Or somebody's trying to come pick you up. Alright? Mm. All right, so it seems like the issue was like it was a whole just stressful. You know, it was very hard work in this situation. What is this Seven of Wands about for the Aries? Hmm. Uh, yeah, it seems like uh, somebody was fighting for her attention. And it was multiple parties involved. I'm thinking more than uh, three. But, yeah, so I feel like somebody dipped out. Could have been a group of people for which they did, you know, or just a bunch. But somebody felt like this was a wise decision to come back and then take take whatever. It's just like, I don't care if I got to compete for the situation. This could be job-related, too. Somebody could have quit a job. And then they found out it's a wise decision to come back. You know, it was hard work, but... And you got a whole lot of people that you're competing against. So this could be work. It looked like more of work now that I'm looking at the cards. All right, yeah, but it sucks because you're not happy here. But it seems like you... I don't know. I don't know why you went back. But it seems like you are going back. Money... Um, it's not a lot of money, but it's it's something. Okay. Mm -mm. Yeah, it seems like you might have been um you might be in between jobs and you might be just waiting for another one and then you just went back to a job that you hate. Just you know, to make ends meet. Yeah, so it's basically saying that this is the right thing to do. It, it's all going to come out your way. I feel like you're going to get what you want out of this. Okay. I want to clarify. What is this judgment card for the Aries? Judgment card for the Aries. Yeah, it's going to take you out of anxiety. So it's going to put you at peace going back to this job. It's hard or whatever, but it's just an in-between job. So just keep that in mind, okay? Okay, somebody might be getting a little sly on the side with people at this job as also. Um, but it could be also group projects, you know, and it's just motivating you to keep going until you get to where you need to go, you know, or where you're trying to go. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal read, check in the description box below. Um, and have a wonderful weekend.